Hello friends, now we discuss Indian polity and the chapter is chapter name is Directive Principles of State Policy chapter 8 okay. so let's start the Directive Principles of State Policy are enumerated in part 4 of the constitution from article 36 to 51 the framers of the constitution borrowed the idea from the Irish constitution in the, uh, of 1937 which had copied it from the Spanish constitution okay so it is, which, is, which had copied it from the Spanish constitution, the framers of the constitution okay, borrowed this idea from the Irish constitution of 1937, okay, the directive and civil uh, state policy, part 4, 36 to 51, which had copied from the Spanish constitution. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar described the, 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 these principles as noble figures. <coughs> The constitution, okay. The directive principles along with the fundamental rights, fundamental rights contain the, this philosophy contains the philosophy of the constitution and uh, and is the soul of the constitution. Okay, the Granville Granville Astin has described the directive principles and the, fund and the fundamental rights as the core called co cosines of the constitution. Features of the features of the directive principles. The phrase directive principles of the state policy okay, denotes the details that the, the details that, that the state should keep in mind while fra formulating policies. The directive principle, the phrase directive principles of state policy denotes the ideals that the state should keep in mind while for, for formulating policies and enacting laws. These are the constitutional instruction or recommendation to the state in legislative, executive and administrative matters. According to Article 36, the term state in, in Part 4 has been the same meaning as the Part 3. Dealing with fundamental rights, okay, therefore it includes the legislative and executive organ of the central and state governments, all local authorities and the other public, and all other public authorities. Of the, in the in the country, features the directive principles of state policy describe the ideals that the state should keep in mind. Ideals okay, that the state should keep in mind while formulating policies and enacting laws. These are the constitutional instruction or recommend and recommendation to the. These are constitutional constitutional instruction and recommendations to the state in legislative, executive, and administrative matters. The of the state or legislative in state in legislative, executive, and administrative matters. Okay, according to Article Thirty Six, in this the term state in Part Four has been same meaning in Part Three, dealing with fundamental rights. Therefore, it includes the legislative. Okay, it includes the legislative and executive organs. Okay, it includes ex legislative and executive organs of the central and state government, all the local authorities and all other public authorities in the country. It it therefore, it includes legislative and executive organs of the state and central government, all local authorities and all other public authorities in the country. The directive principles resembles the instru instrument of instructions enumerated in the Government of India Act 1935. Instruments of instru instruction enumerated in, in the Government of India Act 1935. In the words of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the directive principles are like the instrument of instruction, which are issued to the go Governor General and to the Governor of the col col Colonies of India by the British government under the government of India Act 1935 what uh, is called directive principles is merely another name for the instrument of instruction the only difference is that they are instruction to the legislature and the executive the directive principles constitute a very comprehensive economic economic social and political programs the directive principle directive principles constitute a very comprehensive economic, social and political programs for a modern so democratic state. The aim of realizing the 
the, the aim of aim important the aim is to realize at the the high ideals of justice liberty equality fraternity as outlined the preamble of the constitution equality liberty justice fraternity okay the embody the concept of a welfare state and not that of public police police state the con embody of the concept of welfare state and not that of a police state which existed during the colonial era in brief that they seek to establish economic and social democracy in the country in brief this this seeks to establish the economic and social democracy in the countries the directive principles are not non justiciable in nature they, they, that is they are not legally enforceable by the courts they are not in legally enforceable by the courts for their violation therefore the govern, government central state and local cannot be compelled to the to implement they have never the less the constitution article 37 itself says that these principles are fundamental in the governance of the country and it shall be there it shall be the duty of the state to apply these principles in making laws the direct principles do non justiciable in nature help the courts in examining and determining the constitutional validity of the law the supreme court has ruled many uh, times that in determining the constitutionality of law any law if the if a court finds that the law in question seeks to give effect in order to it cancel it may consider such a law to be reasonable in relation to article 14 or article 19 You will be for Article 14 and Article 19. Six freedoms and thus same such law form unconstitutionality. Okay, <coughs> so direct principles are non-justiciable in nature. They, they, that is, they are legally enforceable by the courts. Okay, for the balance, therefore the government, central, state, and local government cannot take care, cannot be compelled to implement them. Nevertheless, the Constitution, Article 37 itself says that. these principles are fundamental in, uh, in the governance of the country and it's uh, it's self the duty of the state to apply these principles and making lo laws the direct principles <coughs> though non justiciable in nature help the courts in examining and determining the, the constitutional validity of the of law the supreme court had ruled they ruled many a times okay that the determine that in determining the the constitutionality in any law if a court finds that the law in consequence question 60 effect to a directive principle it may be considered it may consider such law to be reasonable in relation to article 14 equality of law article 19 six freedoms and this does shape such in law from untouchability classification of the directive principle the constitution does not contain any classification of the directive principle have it on the basis of this uh, on the basis of their content and direction they are classified in three broad categories socialist Gand gandhian and liberal intellectual socialist these uh, these principles reflect the ideology of socialism they lay down it, the framework of the democratic socialist state aim at providing social and economic justice and set up the path to welfare state they direct at the state they have to promote the welfare of the people securing a social order promoted and permitted permitted by justice social economic and political and to minimize an inequality in income status facilities put to opportunity article 38 to secure the right the right to adequate means of life or livelihood for the citizens okay, to the be the equitable distribution and distribution of mineral resources of the community for the common good prevention of the co concentration of wealth and means of reproduction equal equal pay for equal work okay for men and women preservation of the health strength and of workers and of gent and children against for civil abuse opportunities for healthy development of children article 39 to promote equal justice and to provide free legal 
8 to the 4 article 39a to secure the right to work to education and to public assistance in case of unemployment old age okay sickness and disabled article 41 socialistic pencil okay ideology of socialism okay they lay down framework of the democratic socialist state aimed for providing social economic justice and social state path towards the welfare state the direct uh, the, the direct the state to promote welfare of the people uh, by securing the social order from primitive by justice social economic political and to minimize inequalities in income status facilities and opportunities that is 38 to secure the uh, a life the right to educate means of livelihood of, of to all citizens be to the equitable distribution of material resource of, of the community for the common good the prevention of the co concentra concentration of wealth and means of production equal pay for uh, equal work uh, for men and women presentation preservation of the health strength the workers when the children agrees for civil language uh, opportunity for healthy development of children at 39 to promote equal justice hmm. legal aid for 39 to figure right to work right, education and poor assistance family assistance in case of unemployment, old age, sickness, and disability. Article 39. Okay, disabled. And disabled. Okay, to make provision for just uh, for just and human condition of work and maternity relief. Article 32. Uh, to secure living wage, a decent standard of life, and social and cultural opportunities for all workers. Article 43. To take steps to secure participants, participation of workers and manage the management of industries Article 43A to raise the level of nutrition and center of living so people and improve, improve so public health. 47 Gandhian principle. This principle are based on Gandhian ideology. Okay, they uh, represent the program of reconstruction enumerated by Gandhi during the national movement in order to fulfill the dreams of Gandhi. Uh, some of these ideas ideas were included in the direct principle. They are required the state. Mm. Gandhi principle, they are uh, based on Gandhi principle, represent the programs of reconstruction in the Gandhi during the national environment in order to fulfill my dreams of the Gandhi. Some of the ideas are included to organize village panchayats and uh, end up them with necessary power and authority to enable them to function and the units of self government Article 40 to promote cottage industry and uh, uh, often on an individual and cooperation or, or cooperation on the basis of rural area Article 43 to promote voluntary formation of automation functioning democratic control profession management and cooperative society Article 43 b to promote uh, for the education and economic interest as per CST and other workers section and section Okay, society to protect the, from them from social justice and exploitation. Part six to prohibit the construction of the in, of in, in intoxicating drinks and drugs which are in, injurious to health. Article forty seven to prohibit the slaughter of cows, clave, calf, and other milk and drought cattle to improve the beds. It is liberal intellectual principle. The principle included in the in this category is the ideology of liberalism. The the direct the state to secure all the citizens a uniform civil code throughout the country article 44 okay to secure all the code of the code throughout the country article 44 the principle liberty adult liberty okay to provide is every childhood care sex education for all their complete six year 45 to organize agriculture, animal husbandry, and um, modern and scientific mm, life, Article 48, uh, modern scientific life lines, Article 48, to promote improved environment and safeguard for the forest and wildlife, Article 48A, to, uh, to protect mon monuments, places, objects, historic interests, which are declared to be national and important, Article 49. Okay. To separate to separate the judiciary to the judiciary from the executive and the, in the public public service of the state article forty article fifty to promote intellectual intellectual peace security maintain just maintain just and honorable legislation between nation to foster respect for international law to obligation and to encourage settlement of international disputes arbitration article fifty five. 
Okay, for new directive principles, new directive principles, in the 42nd Amendment Act, that is added a new directive, new directive principles to the original list to direct the state to secure opportunities and healthy for healthy development of children at the time, mm -hmm. to promote equal justice, okay, and for legal, free legal trade, 8 up to, to the 4, Article 39A, to take steps to ensure safe participation of worker management of the industry, Article 43A, to protect the improved, to protect and improve the environment, safeguard for a complete area. For the area, the 44 Amendment Act, Article 38, added one more directive principle that the refugee start to minimize the mm -hmm. and income as status facilities and opportunity article 43 and article 38 uh, 96 uh, amendment act uh, to the 2 okay 2002 changed the subject matters of article 45 and made elementary education and uh, fundamental rights article 21a they already amended direct directive directive of the state to provide early childhood care and education for all children until the complete of the sixth year from the age of six, sixth year okay. The sixth year, okay. <coughs> the 97th Amendment Act, 2011, added mm, a new direct principle relating to the to cover the, to cover society. It requires to the state to promote a voluntary information, automation, automation, functioning democratic control and professional management of covered society. 43 B, the sanction behind the direct principle, sanction behind the direct behind Serbian law, the constitutional constitutional advisor to the constitutional assembly. Recommended that the rights of an individual should be should be divided into two regular categories, justiciable and non justiciable, which are added which was added by the drafting committee. Constitutionally, consequently, the fundamental rights which are justiciable in nature and in are incorporated in part three are that are the directive principles, principles which are non justiciable in nature and are incorporated in part four of the constitution. Serbian law, control advisor, okay. They divide into two categories, just and non justiciable, and which is accepted by the drafting company, particularly the fundamental rights, which are justiciable in nature, and incorporated in part three of the, uh, the directive principle, which are non justiciable in, in nature, and incorporated in, incorporated in the part four of the constitution. And, and though the directive principle are non justiciable, the constitution article 37 makes it clear that these principles are fundamental in the government, governance of the country, and it shall be the duty of the state to apply these. Principles in making laws. Thus, they impose a moral obligation of the state authorities for their application, but the real force behind them is political, that is, the political opinion, as observed uh, with the Allah, the Krishna, Swami, I are no minister responsible for to the people for the effort lightheartedly to ignore the mm, provision in part 4 of the constitution of the Ambedkar has said the constitution of the government which has a research on popular vote can hardly ignore the directive principle okay, while shaping well, its policy. It, if any government ignores them, it will certainly have the advance and fall before the electorate and the elect, elect, election time. The famous, the famous of the constitution made the directive principle non justiciable and legally non enforceable because the country did not the country did not process difficulty uh, apart from sufficient financial resources and to implement them the to, presence, to the presence of the vast diversity and backwardness in the country. The vast diversity and backwardness in the country would stand in the way to the implementation of the newly born independent Indian state, mm. which it many free occupations might be crushed under the burden unless it were free to decide the order, the time, the place, and the mode of fulfillment. Fulfilling them, okay. The constitution makes, the constitution makers with their fruit text are talking a pragmatic view, refrained, refrained from giving teeth to these principles. They believe that <coughs> they believe in an evocant public opinion rather than the court procedures and the ultimate action for the fulfillment of these principles. Criticism of this direct of the directive principles, the direct principle of the state policy has been criticized. So member of the constitutional assembly as well as other constitutional and political experts on the following grounds. No, no legal force 
can evident jurist and diplomat the candidate are the life giving influence on the constitution the constitution the constitution uh, the constitution the staff of the constitution and the philosophy then just is mc changla from a chief justice of india okay is the is an age of the opinion of the uh, that if all these principles are fully carried out the country would indeed be, be uh, even on earth india would then be not only democratic in the political sense but also welfare state or looking after the welfare in the citizen in its citizen that we are ambedkar had pointed out that the directive directives have great value because they laid down that the goal of the indian polity either is economic democracy as distinguished from economic democracy as distinguished from political democracy granville astin opened that the directive principles are aimed at furthering the goals of the social revolution or first of his revolution by establishing the conditions necessary for the achievement sir i have sir bn rao the constitution advisor to the constitution assembly stated that the directive principles are intended as moral precepts that are for the authorities of the state they have at least an educative value according to mmc sital dhat the former attorney general of india the directive principle also confer the leg- no legal rights and create no legal remedies as are significant and useful in the following ways they are like an instrument of instruction or general recommendations addressed to all authorities in the indian, indian union and they remain then as the basic principle of the new social and economic order which the constitution aims at building they have severed served as useful beacon lights uh, to the courts they have helped the courts in ex- exercising their power of judicial review that is the power that is the power to determine the constitution validity of the law they form dominating backward background of the state action legislative or executive and to also guide to the courts in some respects the to them they amplify the preamble okay which is solemnly reserved to secure to all citizens of indian justice liberty equality and fraternity the directives of the also pay play the following role to be facilitate stability and continuity in domestic and foreign policies in political economic and social spheres in spite of the changes of the polity party in power they are supplementary to the fundamental rights of the citizens they are intended to full to fill in the vacuum in part 3 by the by providing for social and economic rights they are implementation creates the a favorable atmosphere for the full for the full and proper enjoyment of the fundamental rights by the citizens political and democracy without economic democracy has no meaning their implementation creates a favorable atmosphere for the full and proper employ and enjoyment of the fundamental rights okay, by the citizens and the political democracy without economic democracy has no meaning okay uh-huh. the enemy the opposition the to exercise in to exercise to exercise influence and control over the opposition okay opposite the enemy the opposition to exercise or influence the control okay over the opposition operations of the government the opposition can blame the ruling party on the ground that its activities are opposed to the directives most of the directives they serve as a crucial test for the improvement of the government they serve as a crucial test for the government of the government they the people can examine the policies and programs the people can examine the policies and program of the government in the light of the sense light of this constitutional declaration and they serve okay, as a common political manifesto a ruling party irrespective of its political ideology has to recognize the fact that these principles are inter- intended in the guide in its guides for the people and friends in the legislative and executive acts mm, conflict conflict between fundamental rights and state principle 
the justiciability of fundamental rights okay and the justiciability of the defense on the okay, one hand on the one hand and the uh, and the moral obligation of the state to, uh, to implement the directive in article 37 okay on the other hand okay have led to a conflict between the two scenes the constitution commitment once when the constitution in the champakam champakam duraj durai ranj rajan case tampaka duraj durai rajan case Sambakam Dari Rajan K. Nadi the Haruka ruled that in case of the conflict between the fundamental rights and directive principles. So, directive principle, Article 37. Okay, I mean, what are the biggest of the state implement to directive principle? Article 37. Conflict between the government of the constitution. Okay, Sambakam Dari Rajan K. Article 1931. Supreme Court. Okay, conflict between fundamental rights and directive principles. The former would prevail. Mm. That is, uh, uh, it declares that the directive principle have to confirm confirm directive the directive principle. This critical directive principle have to confirm to add to and run as subsidiary and to the fundamental rights. But it also held 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 constitutional amendment acts. Sorry, it held, held that fundamental rights could amended by the parliament by enacting a constitutional amendment acts as a result of the, the parliament made the first amendment act 1951 fourth amendment act 1955 and the 17th, 17th amendment act 1964 to implement directives the above said, situation underwent a major change in 1967 following the supreme court in supreme court judgment in the Golok case in 1967 in the case the supreme court ruled that the parliament cannot take away or abridge any of the fundamental rights okay, which are sacrosanct in nature. In the other words, the court held that fundamental rights cannot be amended for the implement of the directive principle. In the, the parliament reacted, reacted the Supreme Court's judgment in the Gorakhnath case 1967 and by enacting 24th Amendment Act 1971 and the 25th Amendment Act 1971, the 24th Amendment Act declared that the parliament has the power to abrogate, abridge or to take any, to take or to take away any of the fundamental the rights on by enacting constitutional amendment acts the 25th amendment act in, inserted a new article 31c which contained the following two provision okay following two provision provisions are no laws which seeks to implement in the so, in the socialist the discipline the directive principles specified in article 39b and the c323 shall be void on the ground of the contravention of the fundamental rights conferred by, by article 14 equal to be for law and equal protection of law article 9 protection of six rights uh, in respect to speech assembly okay movement etc article 31 right to property no law containing a, a declaration for giving effect to such policies shall be questioned in any courts on the ground of that <coughs> No laws containing no law containing a declaration of her giving effect to, uh, to such policy shall be questioned in any courts on the ground that it does not give effect uh, to such policy. Okay, so this is uh, the topic. Okay, so thank you, friends. I think it will be helpful. Thank you.